folks. As a DJ, I ask myself, what's more exciting than getting your crowd dancing on the dance floor? It's a big, bright, LED moving head by Shave DJ. Today we're gonna to take a look at the Shave DJ Intimidator Spot LED 350 in white. Ladies and gentlemen, for my customers and DJ enthusiasts, my name is Rocky with AtlantaMusicDJ.com and EllaEventsAtlanta.com. And for my customers, we only want the best. So we look to Shave DJ. Let's take a look at the Shave DJ Intimidator Spot LED 350 in white. Okay guys, I'm gonna to try to talk really fast and get through some of the details, um, most of the details at least anyways, for the Chave Intimidator 350 in white. So first of all, they're all off. I wanna tell you a couple different things. Um, I've had some questions in the past and I wanna go ahead and show you. So if and when you do get your Chave Intimidator 350s um, or the other models, I want you to uh, be concerned that when, or just be aware that when you do power them on, and I'll show you here in just a second, I want you to listen to them. They're just trying to reset the belt inside. The motor's trying to go to its factory resetting to give it a proper um, setting on the belt and in the motor, so that way it's in sync with this full rotation uh, from certain angles and its full elevation and rotation and so on and so forth of the head. So we'll just listen to that now. I'm gonna go ahead and power them on. Okay. And you hear that little motor, they're just resetting themselves, they're getting them to its accurate position of the belt and the motor, and they're getting they're getting themselves set. So that's nothing to be concerned about, okay? They're right out of the box, they're brand new, and you'll hear that. Another uh, question, troubleshooting question I've gotten from someone else was, and if you look in the very corner right over here, I actually have a wireless, um, a wireless router right over there. These two are on wireless, and these two are uh, DMX cabled, okay? So one of the questions I had in the past was, um, why do they get off sync? Uh, I'm noticing that they're kind of off sync. If they're all DMX together and, and daisy chained, why are they kind of getting off sync? Well, I asked the question, do you have any wireless uh, adapters going to any of your moving heads? And they said, yes. Well, if we see that in this video, which we probably won't, um, that's kind of something that happens. If there is a frequency that kind of jumps in between, um, I'm not going to go through that whole um, sh show of that, but a cell phone can do that and other wireless things that are inside the venue can do that as well too. 
if it jumps to frequency or actually clicks to frequency on your wireless router, one of your moving heads may go off sync. It's not the moving head. There's nothing wrong with the moving head. It's the actual, um, the, 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 the frequency got cut off at a short moment just due to a phone call, a text message, or some type of messaging on a cell phone, or it could be something within the venue, uh, something like that. So that's not to be concerned. Okay, let's go ahead and power them on. I want you to be very much aware that we have the sun shining directly through the window. It is about 12 o'clock in the afternoon. The sun is shining through the window, so we have plenty of light coming out. I did shut the curtain because we don't want to just overwhelm the lights. But I want you to be aware of how bright these are. These are 75 watt, but because of the lens, they can come out to be just so much more brighter. Now, I have dull material uh, just behind me, my clothing and whatnot. Now, once these lights turn on, which we're about to do right now, I want you to see how bright they are. They are so bright that they actually shoot so much light directing towards us that they give a shadow on themselves just if you can see that just above the light all right take a look at that that's their own shadow that they're giving to themselves by illuminating so much light directed towards us all right so there it is let's go ahead and take a look at the basic um, specs of them now we have full rotation 360 degree rotate actually it's quite a bit more uh, degree rotation and then we have a full pan okay and then they do have a we have a full uh, color spectrum as you can see there we'll go ahead and take a look at it on the wall the gobos which you can't see actually scrolling now but we'll take a look at the wall let's go ahead and pan over to the wall and we'll take a closer look at the gobos Okay, gang, so here's the gobos, and as you can see, they are out of focus at the moment. So let's go ahead and show you a couple things we can actually do. We can actually do, there's the three facet prism, and you can see me with my camera, because it's just behind me. We'll go ahead and close that. We'll go ahead and zoom our gobos so we can get a really good optic focus on the circles there, as you can see. Now you can see a little bit better. There's some of our strobing, and there's our slow fade if you want to fade out. That was the strobing. Some of the color wheels, and it comes with yellow. Oop, that was kind of a purple. I'm not sure if you could see it on the camera there, but that's purple. Kind of like a pinkish purple, and there's green. There's kind of like a uh, orangey, blood orange. And there's an aqua color, looks kind of bluish. There's more of a greenish yellow kind of. And there's orange. And blue. And there's our split colors, white and yellow, pink and yellow, purple or purple and green, whatever you want to call it, and red, green and so on and so forth and then you can actually scroll through the colors during a dance scene okay let's go ahead and take a look at our gobos for the first one up is going to be kind of like a circles or bubbles and then a water effect okay and this one I would call kind of like a tribal effect all right and here's like another tribal effect uh, that would other one would be like a more of a spiral effect and then this would be kind of like a tribal effect. Um, they're all kind of scattered in there, so sorry if you can't see them perfectly well. These are beautiful flowers. Uh, I think these should be kind of like a standard, what you should always keep your gobos at, at a wedding. Um, and there's some other patterns. And there's some dots. And then they go through the shakes on each one of those, which I won't do. And then, or when during a dance scene, you can actually pan through all of your gobos fast or even slower if you choose. And then let's go ahead and go back to one of our gobos here. Let's say if we wanted to do the tribal effect, and uh, you can actually, and here's where you, there's your three facet prism on all of them. So it's kind of like you got several facet prisms going. Um, so here, just you want to touch on your three facet prism if you want them rotating 
you can have it rotating as you can see you can see my image there and um, it gets a wider spread when you do the facet prism so for your larger applications your larger walls I would highly recommend going with the, the, the prism effect um, would be a, a really beautiful look again there there I am there but you just barely see the camera and then when we go through the three facet prism you can clearly see my head and my hand and everything else so it does give a wider spread there okay okay gang so there you have it uh, that's just a quick little video on the Shave Intimidator Spot LED 350 in white I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys can go out and run out and grab some yourselves. These are beautiful. I highly recommend them for any and all applications. This is DJ Rocky with Atlanta Music DJ and Ella Events Atlanta. Take care. Love and respect all people and all things living. Goodbye, guys.